pretty good day for SoFi stock today, guys, considering the overall stock market didn't do that well. We had SoFi stock up around 2.7% on the day, and earlier in the day, it was over $9 per share. So we're going to break down the charts in this video, talk about my thoughts, key levels, what I'm looking to do. But before we do that, guys, don't forget to get up to 17 stocks for Moomoo, each up to 2000 bucks. You have two more days to do that. Once you guys open up your account, fund it with at least $100 using that link down below you get a free share of C3AI stock, which is around 35, 40 bucks a share. And you get five more stocks, totaling six stocks and fund your account at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks on top of those six stocks, totaling 16 stocks and fund your account at least $5,000 on top of the 16 stocks you already got. You also get a free share of either Tesla stock or Google guaranteed, which guys, again, you have two more days to do that. So use that link down below, get your free money. And with that being said, cheers guys, let's dive right into it. So check it out. SoFi stock ended up going up, like I said, around 2.7, almost 3% on the day. And earlier in the day, guys, it was at $9.09. That's actually the high here on the day. And right out of the gate, guys, SoFi just ripped. You guys can see at 9.30 a.m. when the market's open here on the East Coast, SoFi was at about $8.60. And again, we got all the way to pretty much 9.10. That was a move of around 50 cents or about 5, 5.5%, almost 6%. Not not bad at all, guys. And notice how we did drift off for the rest of the day. We did, I guess you can say, downtrend, but we uh, we held the highs from yesterday. That's a very big sign here for the bulls. But you guys can see we held the highs from yesterday. Yesterday we peaked at around uh, where was that? 875, and lo and behold, boom, we pulled back today, and we actually peaked or uh, not peaked, but bottomed uh, multiple times throughout the day at around eight dollars and eighty cents, eight eighty five. So that's a very good sign for uh, for the bulls and notice how this ascending triangle we called out yesterday that played out completely that played out at open today when again we ran right through and now that I'm looking at this guys when the markets open 10 minutes in we broke out of the highs from yesterday being around 870 875 then again we ran all the way up to 910 and now we're just pretty much uh, we've been consolidating around the highs from yesterday very bullish guys very bullish and I would argue now that we have a uh, wedge forming here on the intraday chart if I get these lines out let me show you what What's going on we have higher lows being made there but we also have lower highs at the same time so let's see what direction in the very short term SoFi ends up picking here on the intraday chart this is very important guys and let me show you all what's going on on the five day five minute let me pull it up and show you guys we can now see with today's move we're taking out a multi-day resistance not only is 875 the high from yesterday but also from the day before, day before, day before, day before. We talked about this yesterday. Do you guys not remember? Which is why you have to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content here on the channel. Trust me, guys, you're not going to want to miss any of the content. So we broke out of 875. Awesome. Ran a 910. And now you guys can see on the 10-day chart, we're starting to take out the highs from the middle of June, just slightly, right? 890, 895, $9. That's where we peaked on the 16th of June. We barely took that out earlier today which is good for the bulls. So my eyes, guys, we keep on building ground. The bulls keep on building ground these past couple of days, day after day after day. And now we're above the moving averages on the 10-day chart. We also have an inverse head and shoulders. Do you guys see this right here, left shoulder? We got the head right here, boom. And we have the right shoulder. We talked about that yesterday. That is still intact. You guys can see that here on the 10-day, 30-minute chart. And if I pull up the one-hour chart, you guys can see it even more. And with today's move, move we're back over the 180 SMA and we've been above the 50 for the past day or two uh, but now we're above the 180 which is a very good sign for the bulls that's a sign that we could be starting to reverse keyword is could nobody knows what you know what's going to happen for sure nothing's guaranteed and if I pull up the four hour chart guys let's break down some key levels that I'm looking at right here so one level we're noticing is 885 which we actually uh, bottomed that on the 13th of June also the 
15th. Now we broke out of that and closed above it. That's great. Another point worth mentioning here is right around 975. Let me draw that out and show you guys 975. That, if I zoom in a little bit here, that was the high on the 15th of June. Also, um, the 13th of June, maybe a little bit on the 12th of June. So that's going to be a point where, honestly, now that I'm looking at it, if this inverse head and shoulders plays out, we get that right shoulder to complete, we could be making a move towards 9, uh, 975, right? Towards uh, $10. That that could be the next gap to fill, which right now that's another dollar and uh, actually right around 90 cents uh, actually from where we are right now, which percentage wise is 8 nine, 10%, maybe 7%, depending on uh, where it actually goes. And again, nothing's guaranteed, guys. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. But as of now, it looks like we got the consolidation on SoFi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. And we got Kathy Wood buying in, which probably is not the catalyst that's moving it back up right now. Uh, but it looks like ever since she did buy in, I think on Friday, um, you know, a couple days ago, it's been going up, right? Now we're starting to break the moving averages. We're, uh, we're breaking out of some key levels. So I would not be surprised if SoFi did run up a little bit more, um, you know, towards $9, $9.50, $9.75, $10. would not surprise me. And guys, the high from the middle of this month, about 10, 12, 14 days ago, is ten twenty five was ten twenty or ten twenty three actually, which that could be a spot we go to as well. So so far today, guys, did very well. Strong day in the midst of an overall black kind of day in the stock market. We had the S and P break even. We had the Nasdaq one hundred go up point one percent. Barely had a green day. We had the Russell up point five. So the Russell did have a pretty good day, but the Dow did the worst, guys, which usually is not the case. It went down about a quarter percent as we had the uh, the VIX down two and a quarter percent and we had gold down 0.3 and we had silver down 0.8 so uh yeah all over the place guys all over the place and let me see what oil ended up doing let me pull it up <clears throat> excuse me guys and see uh where oil is at oil went up on the day two percent there we go but one thing that's very bearish here on oil guys that i'm seeing at least is this descending triangle do you guys see it i mean this thing is clear as day. We have support at around uh, 67 bucks, which is where my alert's at. You can see that line right there. And at the same time, we have these lower highs being made ever since the, when was that? Uh, the middle of April. So we have clear lower highs, but clear support as well at 67, which again, puts us in a descending triangle, which is a very bearish pattern. And by the looks of it, guys, oil any day now, in my opinion, by the looks of these charts, could break under 67 into the mid 60s, low 60s, and maybe we'd be going or, you know, we could be going back to the $50 per barrel range by the looks of the charts, guys. Totally possible. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And with that being said, I guess uh, we'll wrap up the video. Not the best day in the markets, uh, but it was a good day for SoFi. So what are your thoughts? Hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe. And guys, don't forget to get up to 17 stocks for Momo. It is free money. I'm telling you guys, this is the best promo right now. You have two more days to get those stocks. Use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Momo. Open up your account and fund it with at least $100. And you get a free share of C3AI stock, which is right around 35 40 bucks a share and you get five more stocks each up to 2000 bucks and fund your account with at least a thousand dollars you get 10 more stocks totaling 16 stocks and to make things even better guys listen to this fund your account with at least five thousand dollars on top of all the stocks you already got you also get a free share of either google stock or tesla stock guaranteed which guys this promo is just unmatched by far the best promo you have two more days to use it link down below and of course that is an affiliate link it helps out the channel i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said cheers i'll catch you all in the next video